Tiny 11 26H1 gives you the latest Windows 11 with zero bloat and zero start menu pins. You get a clean install that fits in about five gigabytes. Hi, this is Neil from Apitis. In this video, you will see the full process from start to finish. We start by building Tiny 11 26H2 with the Creator tool. After that, we install it in two ways. One install uses Xeno without a USB. The other uses a bootable USB made with Rufus. If you want to keep your current Windows setup, I will show you a Velotic method later in the video. Then, we shrink the Tiny 11 install to free more disk space, add your browser, and fix crash issues or out of memory problems. You will also see how to install drivers for stable performance and how to switch your system language with quick steps. At the end, we go through the main advantages of Tiny 11 so you can decide if it fits your needs. Let us begin. We begin by creating Tiny 11 with the Creator tool. Open the Creator you downloaded from the official link in the pinned comment. Press Build, and the tool will generate your Tiny 11 installer on its own. If you prefer not to build it, you can get a pre-built installer from the official site. Both choices work. Use a valid Windows 11 license. We only support clean and legal installs. Build time varies by your connection and your hardware. When the process finishes, the log will show Build finished successfully. That confirms your installer is ready. Avoid downloading Tiny11 from unofficial sources. That can expose your system to unsafe files. Use only the creator or the verified installer from the official site. Now we move to Xeno, a small tool that lets you install Tiny11 without creating a bootable USB. Xeno is already included in the package. Open it, select the Tiny11 installer you built earlier, and choose the target drive for the install. Make sure the drive has nothing important on it because the setup will wipe the data. Set the file system to NTFS, confirm your options, and let Xeno handle the install. This part finishes in a short time. When Xeno completes the process, restart your PC. You should see a dual boot entry for Tiny11. If the entry does not appear, you can add it yourself with a BCD tool like EasyBCD or Visual BCD. That is the full process with no USB and no extra steps. If Xeno does not work, or if you want to install with a bootable USB, use Rufus. It is simple and reliable. Connect a USB drive with at least eight gigabytes of space and back up your files because the drive will be wiped. Open Rufus, choose your Tiny11 installer, pick the USB drive, and start the setup. This step usually finishes in five to 10 minutes based on your system and USB speed. When it completes, your Tiny11 USB is ready. Restart your PC and press the boot menu key, usually F12, F8, or Escape, then select the USB drive. If you do not know the right key for your device, a quick search will help. After you boot from the USB, the Tiny11 setup will start on its own. It is easier than a normal Windows 11 install. You will go directly to the drive selection page. Check that you pick the correct drive because it will be overwritten. You can change your language later, so skip that for now. When the installation finishes, Tiny11 will take you to a clean desktop. If you want to avoid reinstalling Windows or if you want an instant speed boost on your current setup, use Velotic. It turns your existing Windows into a Tiny11 style build with a few clicks. Velotic isn't a cleaner, it's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new, every single day. CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? Gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks, one-click Windows debloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands and refined with every update. $19.99 once. Lifetime speed, zero effort. Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Now we move to the key step, turning Windows 11 into Tiny 11. Open Velotic, go to the Debloat page and press play. The tool handles everything for you. With one click, your system reaches Tiny11 speed with no file loss 
and no broken features. You can check the full guide through the I button and the link in the description. After the installation finishes through Rufus or Xeno, your PC will boot directly to the Tiny11 desktop. Start by turning on compression. This cuts the size of your system drive by up to 60% and frees a large amount of storage while keeping performance stable. It is safe and every user should enable it. When compression finishes, you will be running the latest Tiny11 26H1 build at full speed. The whole system sits at about five gigabytes. This is far smaller than standard Windows, yet it loads faster, runs smoother, and uses less RAM. Tiny11 focuses on speed and stability. It works well on older laptops, low-end PCs, or any setup that needs a clean and efficient Windows experience without the usual bloat. With 26H1, you also get closer to hardware performance for better efficiency. Now that Tiny11 is running, we can get it online. Open the Configure app and choose the browser you want. I am picking Chrome, but you can install Edge, Opera, or Firefox depending on your preference. Tell me which browser you use in the comments. I read them all. Chrome installs in a few seconds with a single click. After you get internet access, visit my YouTube channel and our partner channel and hit subscribe. If you have not already, you will also see a Discord link in the description. Join the server to talk with other Tiny11 and Velotic users, get support, and check early previews of upcoming builds. If you run into sudden crashes or out of memory problems, you can fix them fast. Open the Configure app, enable paging files, and restart your system. This simple change clears most stability issues. Paging files stay off by default to save space, but turning them on gives your system more room to work and stops memory-related errors. Now we move to drivers. These control every major part of your PC, including graphics, sound, network, and input hardware. Tiny11 makes driver setup easy. You do not need risky download sites or complex installers. Open the Configure app, press Install Drivers, and choose what you want from the list. You can also press Install all to finish everything in one go. Do you need drivers? If you play games or work with video editing, you will need proper graphics drivers. On laptops, drivers control the touchpad, touchscreen, and function keys. On desktops, they enable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, audio, and power features. Once the drivers are installed, your PC will run at its best, stable and fast with full hardware support. Now we will change the system language in Tiny11. This is useful if you want to move from English to your preferred language. Open settings, go to time and language, open language and region, you will see the language is currently installed. To add a new one, press add a language search for the language you want, such as Spanish, German, Polish, or Portuguese. Press next. Check the box that says set as my Windows display language. Press install. Windows will download and apply the full language pack. The time needed depends on your internet speed and the size of the pack. During this step, Windows updates menus, text, and interface resources. When the download completes, Sign out when prompted and sign back in your desktop. Start menu and system dialog will now show the new language. Open language and region again and press the two copy buttons. This applies the new language to the welcome screen, system prompts, and all user accounts. After this, the full Windows interface will use the language you selected menus, system apps, and notifications will all match your choice. You can find the purchase link in the pinned comment. Tiny11 Lite is a paid service built for users who want strong performance, better privacy, and reliable operation. You get steady performance every day. You might see free builds on random sites, but many include risky files or modified components. If you want real security, real speed, and real stability, the premium build is the option you should install. Thanks for watching. This is Apidus signing off.